Hi, my name is Dr. Deepak Garg. I'm an ophthalmologist and practicing in Mumbai for the past 15 years. And today I'm going to bust some myths about eye care. The baby's eye color is dependent on the parent's eye color, but not to the extent that we imagine. All babies are not born with blue eyes. Some may have blue eyes at birth, but usually most babies actually have brown eyes when they are born. And what happens over the course of the few years as they grow is the brown irises or irides become darker. But definitely all babies are not born with blue eyes. If uh, the parents have green eyes or blue eyes, there is a chance that the child will have eyes of a similar color. But that doesn't mean that if parents have green eyes, the child has to have green eyes. The child can have brown eyes, like most of us, or a different color. It's obviously not very common to see light colored irises or eyes, especially in us Indians. But um, to an extent, it is dependent on parents because it is genetically determined, the color of the eyes. So eating carrots provides us with vitamin A and vitamin A is available in many many foods not only carrots uh, green leafy vegetables or mangoes have a lot of vitamin A now vitamin A supplementation or eating extra carrots is actually prescribed for those children who are undernourished if your child is not undernourished then by feeding your child extra carrots is not going to give him superhuman eyes so in short, the answer to that question would be no, carrots are not going to significantly help your vision or your eyes. Do eye exercises reduce a person's number? That's one of the commonest questions we get asked at our clinic and this is a very big myth because eye number is determined by the shape of the eyeball. So the longer the eyeball, the more the minus number, the shorter the eyeball, the more the plus number. Eye exercises won't harm your eyes either. So there are certain theories that suggest if you exercise, if you do these kind of exercises or those kind of exercises, the eye number may reduce. And what we tell our patients all the time is that they are welcome to try those exercises, but they may not really work. So staring at the sun, can damage your eyes because when we look at the sun, the UV rays can actually damage the retina. And the retina is the backmost layer of the eye, it's like the film of a camera. And the retina can get burnt because of the UV rays. And if the retina gets burnt, it stops functioning correctly. And when that happens, yes, our vision would get affected. So sun gazing can damage your eyes. So most of the color blindness that we see is in boys, but it's not a rule that girls cannot be color blind. Color blindness is more commonly seen in boys because the genetic defect for color blindness is located in the X chromosome. And for those who don't know, we all have a X uh, and a Y chromosome, the boys and the girls have two X chromosomes. So if one X chromosome is damaged, then the boy will have color blindness. However, in a girl, if one X chromosome is damaged, the other good X chromosome overcomes the bad chromosome and the girl will not have color blindness. And thus, it is very rare that both the X chromosomes would be damaged for the girl to have color blindness. So yes, most commonly color blindness is seen in boys, but girls too can have color blindness. Colorblind people do not see in black and white. They see in different shades of colors. Uh, so firstly, I think we should understand that color blindness does not mean that you don't see any colors at all. There are various types of color blindness. Okay, the most common is red-green color blindness, wherein you're really having a difficulty with red and green, but not with the other colors. And therefore, the other colors you would actually be able to pick out. A child would be able to pick out the correct crayon, a correct color pencil while uh, doing his coloring at home, not all the colors. So no, they don't really see in black and white. They see in different shades of uh, different colors. Close your eyes. Thank you.